Sultan Bayezid I controlled one of the largest and most modern armies in the known world. He went by the nickname of Yildirim, meaning lightning or thunderbolt, and continued the meteoric rise of the Ottoman state, laying many new lands under his rule. Even so, it's during his time in power that the Ottomans start feeling growing pains and meet their first major setbacks. Bayezid is believed to have been born in around 1354 and was one of five sons of Murad I. During his youth, he became known as a capable, although hot-headed soldier, and also served as governor of the city of Kutaya, recently conquered from the Gamianids. He came to power in 1389 in the aftermath of the Battle of Kosovo. It was fought between a coalition led by Lazar Rebeljanovic, the most powerful of the Serbian rulers, and the invading Ottoman army of Murad I. Both sides sustained heavy losses and had the bulk of their armies annihilated. Prince Lazar was killed, and although Murad survived the battle, he was assassinated soon afterwards. This left Bayezid in charge, and his first action as ruler was to summon his younger brother, Jakub Bey, to his tent and have him strangled to death. In this way, he avoided any future plot against him, and ensured the stability of his realm. The Battle of Kosovo had depleted the Serbian army, and since the Ottomans still had plenty of reinforcements in the east, the Serbian states were now one after another subjugated and turned into vassals. Bayezid recognized Stefan the Tall, son of Prince Lazar, as the new Serbian leader, and the year following the battle, he married Stefan's sister, Princess Olivera de Spina, as a pledge of peace between the two houses. In the summer and fall of that year, Bayezid also launched his first military campaign with the purpose of starting to unify Anatolia under his rule. It was very successful, and he had soon conquered the Beyliks of Aydin, Sarahan, and Menteshi. This, however, prompted many of the remaining Beyliks, as well as his main rival, Suleiman of Karaman, and Qadi Burhan al Din, who had recently overthrown the Eretnid dynasty, to form an alliance against the Ottoman aggressors. During late fall and winter, Bayezid met with their forces and overwhelmed them, taking the Beyliks of Hamid, Teke, and Germian, as well as several cities, including the capital of Konya from Karaman. But in the end, he didn't completely annex Karaman and accepted their peace proposal in 1391. This was because of the concern that his Turkish followers might switch sides and join Qadi Burhan al Din if they felt that he became too powerful. To further prevent this from happening, Bayezid tried to use mostly Byzantine and Serbian warriors when fighting in the east. Next up, he turned north and captured the cities of Kastamonu and Sinop from the Beylik of Jandar, who had given refuge to his enemies, before being halted at the Battle of Kirkdidim and once again turning his attention west. There, he subdued Bulgaria and northern Greece, and in 1394 he crossed the Danube to try to conquer Wallachia, a part of what is now Romania. The Ottomans were superior in number, but they were defeated at the Battle of Rovine, which took place on forested and swampy terrain. That same year, Bayezid also became the first Ottoman ruler to lay siege to Constantinople, in preparation for which he had built Anadolu Hisari Castle, now remembered as the oldest surviving Turkish structure in Istanbul. The Byzantine Emperor Manuel II Palaiologos urged the West to come to his aid, and they actually did, launching a crusade led by King Sigismund of Hungary, who would later become Holy Roman Emperor. The undertaking wasn't successful though, and the Christians were defeated at the Battle of Nicopolis in 1396. And so the siege continued, and things were once again looking hopeless for the Byzantines. But help was on its way, although this time from an unexpected direction. During the latter years of the 1390s, Bayezid had once again gone on campaigns in Anatolia, defeating and killing the Emir of Karaman and conquering the territories of Burhan al Din, among others. This rapid expansion eventually gained him the hostility of the Turco-Mongol warlord Timur, then one of the most powerful rulers in the Muslim world, with realms stretching from India to Turkey. By 1400, he had managed to rouse Bayezid's Turkish vassals against him, and launched an invasion into Anatolia. The two sides met on the 20th of July 1402 at the Battle of Ankara, the result of which was a crushing defeat for the Ottomans, and the capture of Bayezid by the Timurids. He remained a prisoner until his death one year later, and is claimed by many writers to have been mistreated, although the Timurid sources say the opposite, even claiming that Timur mourned the Sultan's death. At any rate, this left the Ottoman Empire with no clear heir, and nearly brought it to a complete collapse in the ensuing interregnum. Meanwhile, the Byzantines could draw a sigh of relief. 
The siege had been lifted and Constantinople would not fall for another 50 years. <laughs>